Hello everybody, it's me, Kay. Welcome back to Serlim 2. We are heading into floor 10, where the enemies are level 11 and the points don't matter. Ah, a new area. The Unsullied Meadows, acknowledged by Aeolian, another god that we need to meet. Boy, there's pitworm tunnelers to the left of me, to the right of me. Ah! I've waited far too long to finally meet... Oh, he's a bird. So I've waited far too long to finally meet you, Shaytel. Ah! You do not know me, but I know you. Humans refer to me as Aeolian, god of wind. Whenever you require my assistance, know that I will be there for you in your time of need. Ah! Okay, let's let's talk to him. How do I... How do I better serve it? Aeolian reveals a plume of golden feathers under his left wing. These feathers are very special, for reasons which I cannot reveal just yet. Regardless, if you bring them to me, I will reward you. Ah! Please tell me more about this realm. I have kept a watchful eye over these lands for 12 millenniums. Ah! I have witnessed the cycle of mortal life and death more times than I wish to recount. I have seen many kings and queens such as yourself rise and fall. All but one, that is. Well, I'm going to get into a fight no matter what I do here. Hitworm Tunneler. Uh, that Raven Acolyte is not nice, but I can probably kill this first. Cole will take the Raven Acolyte. There we go. A little damage from the Pitworm Tunneler. Sarah gets whacked by the ghoul, as expected. Graft Bone. I didn't do anything. What the heck's he trying to pull? Uh, Milky will hit it. Milky's level, like, very low, and he just did significant damage, so that should tell you a lot about uh, the Servant Hunters. They're pretty nice. Hmm. Smack him around a little bit. And the Servant Hunters attack spread poison, which is really awesome. Counter spell. Let's get that Rapturous Ghoul out of here. Chaz will put a shot in the Manticore. Didn't kill him. Didn't even hurt him that bad. He's tough. Mortally wounded, mortally wounded. Cole can probably put a stop to the Pitworm Tunneler. Nope. And no Bombard because Sarah's down. Dang. Okay, we should have him here. There we go. And hit him with Hunter Season and spread poison. Good. Okay. Oh, there goes Surge. Surprising no one. Uh, Cole's counterattack finished him off real good. And the Coast Watcher falls to Jinx. Good stuff. Now the EXP flies in. Good. Okay, four levels for search right there. That's what we needed to see. Citizen recruitment's done. Oh, my. Okay, this one could be problematic. Uh, Chaz needs to get rid of that. If we're quick, we can kill this thing off. Yes. And maybe this thing, too, before the stupid golem heals everybody up. Yes! Excellent. Shell bust on Jinx. That's kind of rough for Jinx because his special ability revolves around defense. Well, that's not going to matter much, but we got our defense back at least. Stronghold shell busts two people at once. Ooh, he's got a multicast gem in there. And he's provoking. Okay. So now we have to kill that before we can get to the regal golem. I should have realized that in retrospect and gone for the golem early. Okay, well, you're low on mana, so counterspell should hurt you good. Okay. Mortally wounded. That means Chaz has you. Okay, Cole and Sarah will throw down on this thing. There's death. That's a sorcery creature, though. Dang it. One of these days, I'm going to get a death creature that I need to just blast into oblivion. And Scourge Death is going to do it for me. Spell you. At this point, that's probably more damage than Surge is inflicting in melee. Eh, that went pretty good. And Surge should get a couple levels. Milky got one as well. Alright. We're g Oh, crap. There's this guy, too. Ooh, okay. This is a dangerous team comp. Uh... That's got to go first, because it's just going to hit me over and over. Crit Pat's a pain in the butt, but it will die on its own. Uh, look on this Imp Hexer. Sarah can finish the bat off. Milky on the Coast Watcher. Oh, that's spread to him, and he's going to get a... Oh, no, it doesn't count. Okay, so abilities that inflict additional damage don't count for Blood Crazed. Good to know. Let's kill him off. That didn't kill him off, so he's going to become a problem because the stronghold's going to taunt. 
attack, and then his auto taunt kicks in. Yeah, okay. Now Chaz is my siege breaker. There, jeez, 700 damage. Chaz, you're a monster. You do one thing, and one thing only, but you do it so excessively well. Like, that's too much damage. It's not even relevant. Oh, the plume blew away in the wind. I'm supposed to get that for Aeolian. Oh, hi. Uh, I like that Wicked Carver. I like that Red Storm. I'm gonna have to collect them. Fire Wound Angel as well. You go away, though. Okay, that hurt, you know. Uh... Okay, we got the Wicked Carver. So we'll finish that off then. Loki will take care of that. Maybe get to spread some damage. No, didn't proc. Storm takes out Sarah. Fire Wound Angel takes out Milky. Okay. Fire Wound Angel is heavily wounded. Red Storm is unscathed. Got the Fire Wound Angel. Cool. Chaz puts an end to the Fire Wound Angel, and Cole should probably be able to take out this. Good. Now it's just the Red Storm. Entangle. Uh oh. Now Chaz is snared. That's no fun. Hmm. Oh, crap! This artifact just gave him barrier. Well, that's not good. He's got crazy defense. Okay, Jinx. How about silencing him and giving him a moderate amount of damage? That's not a moderate amount of damage, Jinx. Dang. Okay, uh... This is a problem. Chaz needs to get his butt un un ensnared here. We're not hurting this thing. Uh, and the reason for that is, with this creature's above 90% health, it has 50% more attack, intelligence, defense, and speed. Which is very unfortunate, because he also has a damn barrier. Meaning it's hard to put him below. Okay, Chaz lost his snare, and Chaz is unfortunately probably going to one-shot him. No, he's not. Good. I'm glad to hear that. This guy's an unexpected roadblock. Boom, okay. Yes, he's lost his buffs now. Okay. Entangled again. Oh, God. Jinx gets the core, though. That's more than I could have asked for. Those two goofs are still entangled. Well, let's, uh, let's silence you again. A little more Heaven's Thunder, please. For damage. Okay, Chaz will finish this. Boom. And we're out of here. Thank goodness. So, yeah, you can totally hit something that will just ruin your day if you're not careful like that dude. Uh, speaking of ruining my day... Oh, he dodged! Uh, and, you know, you, you hear the sound of somebody drowning on land. You know how I feel about that dodge. Okay, Cole killed it. Good job, Cole. Milky is going after the ghoul because he's not very sturdy. Between him and Sarah, they took it out. Rapture! Oh, the Rapture School cast Rapture. Interesting. Everybody's weak and vulnerable, and I am so hosed. Wow. Fiery Gleam on him. Burn and blind, so he should take some damage. The Autumn Aspect is provoking. Good. The Int hit Surge. Okay, who do we want to give this to? I think Sarah's not a bad choice. Mickey and Surge are pretty low. We're going to give Sarah a big deal. They're probably the toughest of the three at the moment. Good, now they've got some barrier. Dust Crusader takes out Milky. I had a feeling I was losing somebody there. Ugh, got blighted by that Dust Crusader's artifact. Judgment? Oh, oh, thank goodness we resisted that. I don't know what Judgment does, but it doesn't sound good. Let's go ahead and counterspell you, since you've used up some of your mana. Pow, okay. Oh, that's not enough damage. They're going to mend. Ugh, there goes Surge. Heavily wounded, heavily wounded, unscathed, lightly wounded. Okay, damn, he dodged. I don't have enough mana for another Fiery Gleam. But I do have enough damage to kill the end. Good. And I randomly cast Scourge Death, because it casts on attack sometimes. I cast it twice on an empty space. Thank you, sir. That happens if you kill something that you're casting on at the same action. It's not a glitch or anything. It's annoying, though. Okay, let's give Chaz some health and a barrier, too. 
Definitely. The enemy Dusk Crusader is casting spells instead of attacking, for which I'm very grateful. We keep resisting whatever that is. It's probably not a good thing. Manticore doesn't do jack squat. Good. Cole can finish this. Nope. He intercepted it and got hit. We want to kill this guy, maybe? He's a little tough. I want him to die before he becomes just an unstoppable juggernaut of of, of uh, defense here that can't be overcome. Okay, he's down. Jinx finished off his counterpart. Oh, Chaz scores a hit. And that's the end of that creature when Chaz scores a hit. Okay, this guy's going to take a little doing to bring down, but we should be able to. I'll scourge death. Well, it's going to damage him some for zero, apparently. It's not very good unless they're a death monster. As you might imagine. Oh, you're killing me. Okay, the barrier's holding on my people that needed it. A little damage. Bombardment is very welcome here because it always hits. Oh, please. Scourge death for zero again. And again. Well, that scourge death just hasn't happened until this fight, and then it came out in droves. Chaz, thank you, Chaz. Okay, so Sarge and Milky are about the point where they're competitive again. Uh, Lua Rune. Creatures multi-strike attack one additional time. That's nice. I should probably explain runes. Uh, character, manage runes. Uh, we have this rune. Uh, you basically can equip one of each kind of rune at any given time. And they just give you a, a bonus of some kind. None of them matter much right now because I don't have the abilities that trigger them. Got a pile of gems. Unfortunately, they all seem to be flawed and useless. Oh, well, that sucks. That's a chance to find a spell gem, basically. And of traveling nomads, uh, they want something that exists on this map that I don't have yet. Lens the Corrupted Totem. Totem is no longer corrupted. 75 favor with Aeolian. Good. I like that. That's a Lana item. A hay bale. That wasn't anything. Trees and sunflowers in the way. Interestingly enough, even though you can walk over them, you can also destroy those patches of flowers. It serves no purpose, but for some reason it's a destructible that you can walk right over. Ah, uh, you gotta go. Get rid of him. That didn't get rid of him, but the bombardment might. Nope. Dang. Ooh, Surge got pulped. He needs a few more levels to be able to withstand the badness. Okay, take care of that. We got poison on the bat. That's good. So I can probably take him. Yeah. Oh, good. We were able to hit this one. Devil cast Molten Armor. Shell. Mm. And we got a little attack out of that deal. That's not pleasant at all. Well, Chaz won't be able to deal any damage through that shell, so let's just take the Red Storm down, and then Cole can break the shell. A little bombardment action there. Oh, that bombardment's so useful in the long run. A hunter season and a poison. Good. See, we tore right through them. They were no problem at all. That was great. It really is a matter of team comp and what you're up against and what your your plan is and the kinds of spells you have access to. The brimstone's always nice. Mummies. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I can actually catch that Wolpertinger. Let's go ahead and take care of the Lich. Oh, appropriate amount of damage there, 666. Here's that. Pop this guy. I don't like curse, so the Gimp Mummy needs to go. which I'm sure the troll is desperate for. I don't think that helps the troll much. Well, we should be able to take the troll down. Damn, that troll doesn't want to be taken down. Spells. Chaz will do it. There we go. Okay, let's do a little damage to this, because enemies with less health are much more extractable. Wounded fail... Fail. 
Water enchantment on himself, splash, and some attack. Not pleasant. Jinx does a little damage, and we're gonna trigger a random spell here. Mind Storm! Ah, that wasn't that big a deal. And Jinx got stunned, but that was it. There we go, now that he's heavily wounded, we got him. Chaz missed, wow. There we go, no problem, no problem. Ah, high quality wood, that's something we can trade. These all seem to be flawed and useless. There's a small chance at a free spell gem, which is tremendous. And Amber, that's attack, I believe. Or health, I think. Ah, hello. Uh, Sphinx Justicar. Don't care about any of this stuff. Let's get that Flame Wound Angel. He spams a lot of burns. And not like sick burns. I mean, he sets you on fire. I want an enemy that just makes sick burns on all your characters. Alright, Berserker Fiends are not going to be fun, but they, they're they pretty straightforward. They tore Chaz to bits, but... They're okay. Strong will cast Chaos Rift. Gain Stasis. Chaos Rift grants you uh, various goodness. Uh, stasis, it's other traits. Okay, so these guys can confuse me now. And that does nothing... That does nothing. Okay. Hmm. We gotta bring this guy down. That top one that can inflict confuse and does 75% more damage is scary. I'm glad he's gone. There we go. Chaos magic is wild stuff, as you might expect. It can do some pretty outrageous things. Okay, we got spare building materials. We get a mace. Start battle with Arcane. I would like to get that off of there and put that on my necklace because Arcane gives you mana regen. Granite and brimstone. Oh, Hellhound. Or Bloodhound, I guess, in this case. You've got to go immediately. I don't like you much either. I'm scared of you. Damn! Hunter Season just tore him a new one. Let's get rid of him then. Well, that went well. We lost Milky right there, but that's okay. We did not insignificant amounts of damage. Yeah, okay. See, he has Arcane, so he's probably a spellcasty type. He attacked, so good enough. I love the bombardment procs off of the Valkyrie's attack that's a counterattack, so it just essentially makes him more powerful in damage. Such a good team comp. The uh, Valkyrie teamed up with that Crypt Bat. Really helpful. Ah, there's Stroganoff. Gain Leech on hit. On hit. Ooh, okay. High quality wood. All flawed and useless gems. Hey there, Beef. Hey, Stroganoff. Stroke, stroke off. Stroke you off. Stroke you off. Okay. Uh, Flame Strike is Chaos. And I get a Satchel Granite. Good stuff. Stroganoff does a little dance and vanishes. Clean up that totem. Satchel Essence I trade for. These little jerks suck most of the time. I'm going to show you one in the interest of doing so. You reanimate the human effigy, forcing it to act by your will. The reanimated effigy has a mind of its own and casts a hex on your creatures before vanishing. Everybody starts battles berserk here. Huh. That may or may not be helpful in this case. He can give your whole party a buff or give them a, a debuff, and some of those are brutal. So I don't generally mess with the little effigies. That tends to screw you over. Oh, there's the feather. That blew away again, damn it. Got replaced by a monster. Oh, oh no, wait. Enemies will start with Berserk. Yeah, he gives other creatures a buff or gives you a buff. That's what he does, that's right. Actually, uh, them getting Berserk is great. This guy, Dragon Scout, big problem. I'll show you why. Uh, after an enemy attacks, reduce its attack by 20%. Not reduce the damage it dealt that attack. Reduce its attack by 20% for the rest of the fight, and that does stack. So, it's not pretty. We don't want to kill it. Because I really want to extract it. 
Dragon Scout is amazing. Uh, Cole's gonna be nerfed into nothingness at this rate. Because he is being punished for that. Uh, wounded, wounded, okay. It's actually okay because I can use Cole to probably hit it then since he won't deal much damage. There we go. Okay, the Dragon Scout drops Milky. Cole counterattacks for a little bit of damage. He's been bombarded enough times now that I think we can get him. Actually, let's go ahead and kill this thing too. Okay, there we go. Now, we will extract. Got it! Let's holy smite this jerk. Start trying to kill him quick. Remember, spells don't trigger that effect. There we go. They're not sturdy, but their ability is really dangerous. I'm glad to have it. I might replace Milky with that at some point. Or possibly Sarah... No, Sarah's pretty dang useful. Jinx or Surge or Milky are probably the ones that are currently not integral to this team comp. Uh, there's another new creature. Speaking of new stuff, this is a Brimsmith. These guys are all about artifacts. If your creatures attack, they deal additional damage equal to 30% of the attack on this creature's artifact. Very interesting. Very useful. I'll certainly take it. Uh, get rid of that thing, because Live to Labor gets annoying. Ooh, Brimsmiths hurt. They're also just a tough creature, too. I want to extract from him. He's at dying. Oh, nightmare on coal there. Big damage and sleep. Crud. And yes, before you ask, Cole did counterattack while asleep. That is the beauty of that. Still works. Still works. And he woke right up. Good, because he got hit. Okay, let's try and extract you. Got it. Okay, we got what we wanted out of that. Ooh, Cole is the sound and the fury, man. Ooh, take that out. The Brimsmith can die now, and will to see it, and Cole finishes that off, and we're good. Okay, Human Effigy, cast the Hex, Cre my creatures start battle with Blight in this realm, great. He can do a lot of different annoying things, but I think I've mostly cleared the place out, so I'm not too scared. Let's see what's down here before we go up there. We are on the last floor before Notharian's Nightmare, Phobos, we have to fight that, it's a new boss. Well, I'm already screwed at this point, so I may as well try. Cast an enchantment on my creatures that vanishes. We get multicast. Actually, kind of nice. You can see in the corner, there's a lot of stuff in effect now. That will all go away when we leave this realm, thankfully. Oh, there's the feather. Third time's a charm. I managed to catch the plume of Aeolian. You declare these plumes to boost my power. Oh, no, that's Skeletor. There we go. 300 favor with Aeolian. Close to getting finished up with Aeolian for one level here. Okay, trade for some granite. Oh good, another screw you effigy. Oh no, I got, uh, enemies all have blind now, that's kind of nice. Okay, we've explored the whole place. There's just the matter of this totem. If this totem spawns monsters, I may get my butt kicked. Although they would be berserk and blind. I will have, uh, some pretty bad stuff on me, too. Corruption manifests into a pack of hostile creatures. What a delight! Oh, boy! Oh, my God, look at all this stuff in effect. Okay. Chaz. Uh, that is a willow spirit, and I believe I can extract it. Yes. Uh, inspect it. Your creatures recover 100% more health when healed. That is really cool in the uh, in this life build that we have where the heals become a shield. I would definitely like to have him. We might replace Jinx and Surge for a while with that and the, uh, the old golem that heals everybody and then we should be pretty damn tough. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, however, that wicked carver needs to die. They're dangerous. Oh, we'll take down that. Milky can drop the pit worm, hopefully. Let's 
Sarah did not hit. Damn. Okay, Willow Spirit missed. Cole did a little damage to it. Gave it splash. It got bombarded. We should be able to uh, extract it in time now. And Cole's going to be tearing into these Pit Raid Redeemers. They give you vulnerable when they hit you, and it's not fun at all. Boom. Okay. Jinx, extract from this thing. It's mortally wounded. We should have it in a couple attempts. Good. Got it. Damn it, dodged. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right. Ah, and Aeolian's happy with us. I have something for you. Please approach my altar so we can talk in greater length. Ah. Ah. Let's approach his altar so we can talk at greater length. Thank you for protecting these lands. I would like to teach you a spell. It's a branch of alteration magic. The spell will allow you to teleport to unsullied meadows whenever you want. Ah! Respected by alien. Lives can be purchased. Now teleport here. I'd also like to present you with this mana vortex. I hope it keeps you safe. Ah. That's actually a creature, believe it or not, the mana vortex. Safe travels. He man. Teleport back to Surlim. Uh, we should be completing this as in recruitment. Yeah. Okay, these people will give me quests. We will deal with them a little later in a few videos because their quests are something I can really do yet. Uh, I want to summon that, uh, weird little spirit thing we got. Uh, where was it? I forgot its name. Uh, Willow Spirit. Whoa, hey there, Willow Spirit. You're right there. Okay. Yes, summon that. Some of that immediately. Okay, so now we need to say goodbye to a few of our friends for a little while and make room for some new ones. Uh, we want to let Jinx and Surge continue to have their items, however, and their spells, because we'll need them later. Uh, let's leave Jinx here. Let's leave Surge here. Take a creature with me. I want that. Oh, uh, the Mono Vortex, by the way, after an enemy casts a spell, afflict all enemies with silence for one turn. Really cool in a sorcery-heavy build. Really cool. Not for me, though. Willow Spirit we need, and we need that Regal Golem for his auto-heal. Okay, we've got a pretty good life-based team now. See, do I have any more deity points? I do. How much do I need? I need exactly 13. Perfect. So now they can get 5% of their health as a barrier of their max health. Do we have any new construction rituals? Improved forging. Yes, that lets the blacksmith make new artifacts. Not just the few that he's had available thus far. Our goal is to keep the willow spirit and the golem quite quite healthy and alive. Let's salvage that mace. Uh, start battle with Arcane. We got the heirloom of Arcana out of it that we wanted. Okay. So heavy shield. Definitely want. Enchant that heavy shield with more defense. Uh, and we don't have enough to do really anything else of import. So let's go ahead and give this thing the heavy shield. We'll make a new one on the next uh, and next time when we get a little more granite. Okay. Creatures, uh, spell gems. Is there anything worth taking? Because maximum energy creatures class become life until the end of the battle. That's not very useful to me. But as it stands, everybody should be getting tons of free barriering. We've had our golem for a while, so it's probably time to come up with a name for them. But we are out of time for this episode, so that will have to wait till next time, everybody. I will see you then. Goodbye for now, everybody.